All right, it is Wednesday, April 26th. In the market, we go. This is start off the um, Dow Jones was down 228 today, NASDAQ plus 55, SP minus 15 and change. So I did some YouTube shorts today. There was a big gap down in the market. The market uh, returned bullish. This was very early in the AM. And then it started to climb, SQQQ. Um, the market turned a little bit. So this moved up, a nice little move here, 31.50 to 32, but it's very early pre-market. Then you had these red candles right here, all diving lower, lower. You know, found 31.61. And this was a mess of the open. Yeah, I didn't touch this here. Look at this, back and forth. Complete mess. It didn't reach the 32 line again. It was like a triple top. And then this got really hammered. The market turned around, you know, right about 10, 11 a.m. As this is going down, this is bearish um, the Qs. SQQQ, it's three times levered. And then this goes down and down. And then you find a low 31.15. Yeah, so what happened here is, like, again, like I said, the volatility. Play the volatility. Wait for moves. Scalpel moves, whatever you do. You know, wait for lines to happen. Yeah, this one didn't go that far. 20, where did this go right here? Yeah, 756. That's pretty low. So, again, so it's very oversold. If you're watching this green candle. See, when it's right here, you're like, oh, maybe I'll jump in. It's oversold. But there's no, there's no real sign yet. There's no signal. This candle... I mean, you could have tried. You would bounce back and forth, then it went lower. You'd have been, you would have been stopped out. So, you know, as soon as this breaks through, see this line here? Look at these lines. All these wicks, the full body of the candle. You break right up, and then look what, what happens. You get back to this 3125 line. Right here is where I was long. And 3125, and then it starts to take off. And the reason, again, too, right here you try. doesn't work. Okay, doesn't work, you get out. It was flat. It's like nothing. And then I'm trying again because I'm watching the market too. Always have the market beside in your screen. You see what it's doing. It starts to break up a little bit. Okay, we're moving. Big candle here. This is very bullish on the bearer side. And then we go up 31.50, 31.75, 32.32.25. 32, so, you know, this is a dollar move. Big shot to the moon long on fire. And, you know, that was the move. Now, I don't hold these overnight either, and this is the reason. Meta came out with great news. Um, they're cost-cutting uh, plans of work so far. These are three times lever. You don't want to hold them. That's what I mean. Afterwards, oh, something happens after, after hours. Meta has news. Uh, Microsoft has news. Whatever it is, and then look what happens. You, you know, you plummet it down. That's not what you want. These are day trading. I mean, you can hold them. In certain situations, if the market is extremely bearish, like the moves we had for like months and months, you know, that was different. It's on specific, um, you know, specific reasons to hold it, but not at this time right now. All right, so this was the move up a dollar gain. You had a crossover 13 EMA over, let me move this out here 13 EMA over to 20 EMA and this rode up. And again, remember looking for 50 cents to a dollar, so I knew. One dollar, you know, there was my profit. Uh, arrow right here, point it, see this? Another arrow right on here and right on here. And I'll circle it. And we'll circle it right here. So, you know, here's the move. You're going down. As soon as you see these bearish red candles right here after this too, and it starts to unwind and really wash out you could take a shot here and say you think it's going to bounce here didn't happen you stopped out try again because you got you know underneath here what do you got here like 10 cents and then what's below that well the 31 line well it's even below it but there's no line there there's nothing really to go there but again you're looking for crossovers you know it's oversold here. This isn't going down the whole day. Remember, for these to go down all day, it's very rare. You're getting one side or the other at least once a day where it bounces. So you bounce long. This is the key. When it goes up here, is it just going straight down? What's it doing on the next candle? That's why these candles are very specific. You have a breakout 
open candle here, very large candle. And the next candle was, you know, in between, nothing. It didn't even touch here. And then what was the low in this? 31.28. Then we go to 31.25 and take off. And yeah, there's your profit. You can take profit wherever you want along the way, but there it is. So the key again is oversold conditions on the volatility ETFs. You know, look at your stochastics and you know, play the moves up here as they bounce. And this was, you know, a view recovery. Take this out. And you can see here, you know, chopped up. It was a triple top, came down. That's a V recovery. V's all the way back and you know, went a little above. All right, so the daily chart, you can see here, look at it. It's very, ever since, what's this, April 4-4. Four, four. April 4th, look at this move up, went down. You have a higher low right here, taking off. It's 77 now. What's it going to do now? It's going to continue up. Watch after because Meta had good earnings. It could come down a little bit lower. Starting to bend sideways a little bit. Let's see in the weekly. And yeah, the weekly is looking bullish. So look at this line. Check this line out right here. To me, it looks like it's ready to explode up. Because you have a wave. Up, came up again, but it's lower. Came up again, but it's lower. Again, it's lower. It's very oversold. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to go all the way back up there. But I still think 3540. It's not out of the question on this, on the cues here. All right, so again, these are great day trading. That's why they're for day trading, three times levered. You're getting great volume on these, and it's just playing these. Uh, yeah, you're looking at nothing else. These in the market, it's a battle between you and the screen right here, what you see, and that's it. All right, please subscribe to Mike Kamen Trades on YouTube. Smash the like button. TikTok, Mike Kamen Trades, and what else? Any other? Um, Social media, check it out. And we'll be back later for some more videos. Peace.